Hey there, it's Lindsay from the Queen of Easy Green. Today I'm going to be reviewing the GTEC Air Run K9 Mark II. Right, let's see what's in the box then. So in this padded box, we've got see details about the GTEC Air Run K9. We've got the head under there, we've got the filters, the handles, the handle extensions, and then of course the battery. So Right, let's uh, get this thing together and let's see how it works. So, so far so good put everything in place, we're all connected together. So now what I'll do before I will start actually um, having a go with it, I'm just gonna go through the things like charging the batteries and replacing the filters, unscented filters. So uh, that's what we'll do next. We'll look at how to empty the bin. So emptying the bin, place your hands either side of the bin canister Give it a firm pull up and as you'll see there's a little lever there with a little green triangle on it. Open that up so you can see down there and you would hold that over the bin so all of the dust comes out. And then there's another lever at the end and then if you push this along you see all of the dust will then come out, fall out. When you're finished, pull that lever back, click that back in place and then put the bin straight back in and you're ready to go again. Right, next um, we're talking about charging the battery. The battery is here, um, as you can see it's a 22 volt lithium battery um, and it's actually got four indicator um, lights around the ring of it. When um, all four are lit it's fully charged, when it goes to flashing um, of one of the bars that starts flashing that means it needs to be recharged. So you can either do this two ways, um, here's the charger, you can either do this straight in and uh, plug it while it's in situ in the actual air ram and plug that straight into the wall or alternatively, let's take that out, you can take the battery out and charge it up. So you get the battery out by squeezing it together, there's a little lever at the bottom, pulling the battery out, taking the charge cable, plugging it in and again plugging that in the wall. Um, four hours um, full charge um, is all that you will need and um, alternatively if you just want to boost you can pop that in for an hour and that will give you enough power for a quick clean up. So I'm not sure what a quick clean up is but uh, that will be uh, something that I'll be uh, testing. Okay so next um, we're uh, going to replace the filter. So again put your hands there, pull out the drum and the filter obviously is in the centre, so we just pull this out by pushing up on there and gently slide that out. Put that to one side. So you tap away any of the excess dirt that's collected around it, and then to get the filter off, just this twisted motion, and this again can be uh, tapped. The great thing about this filter, which I really like, is the fact that you can actually wash it underwater. So you can wash that, it's a very soft tube, and give that a good squeeze and make sure that is completely dry before it's put back on. Um, and then with the canine version, can you see that little pore? These have actually got scented um, plugins as they were like a little uh, cartridge um, and that smells very nice of lemon mix of lemon and lavender that goes down the end then and then what 
make sure that when the air is obviously being pulled through and sucking up all the dust, the nice smell um, is actually blown into the room rather than, as anybody who's got um, dogs know, that sort of doggy smell that's sometimes blown up with vacuum cleaners. So pop that back in there once it's all connected and cleaned and then pop it back, keep going that long way around, pop it back into the housing and then you're ready to go. Right, so you've seen me assemble the GTEC, so here we are giving it a go. The first thing I'm going to say before I even start using it is, is the weight of how light the GTEC is. This is um, three and a half kilograms, which is seven and a half pounds, which is the same as um, three bags of sugar, or actually the same weight that I was when I was born. Not that you would know that, of course, but it's really lightweight. And uh, the good thing about this is you can carry it around the home, you can carry it up the stairs, I can even carry it on one finger. Um, it's super light, super lightweight, easy to move and it's uh, actually that's one of the things a lot of people always say to me afterwards is the fact that the fact that they can move it around the house um, without having to lug lots of um, hoses and pipes and stuff it's one of the uh, one of the great things about it um, and the, the other thing I'm going to say before I switch it on is the button has moved if any of you have seen my previous review of the GTEC the on off switch was here well it's now being moved to a button on the, on the base alongside the um, battery um, charger that I was telling you about earlier. So there it is there, so that means when we get it into position, just put it down, push it down at the front. Um, we've got the manoeuvrability already, but I won't move that until we've actually switched it on. So here we go, so I'm going to give it my first go. Now I've chosen this um, uh, rug is because um, I've got the canine and this is the rug that my dog, which I'll show you a picture of a bit later, insists on laying on all the time. Not here, but this is a good place to be able to show you. Um, it uh, collects lots of his hair, as you can imagine. As soon as he comes in from a walk, this is the one he goes on. So I thought it would be a really good um, rug to test this out on. So here we go, first go. So the first thing you'll see is actually the new form with LED lights. So that's really good. So when you're going under any any dark cupboards, cupboards, under any dark cupboards, or going in these nooks and crannies, this will immediately stop any little bits of lurking dust or paper that you've got to come out. Now the other thing I'm going to is the smell. And um, you know I showed you a bit earlier about the little um, parts of it in there, the little um, scented people, immediately I can smell that, so that's actually throwing that smell up in there, which is a lot more pleasant than the smell of dust or water and salt. I don't know if you can pick up on the green in the eyes, it's probably got the car back on the face, but it's actually doing a great job of um, cleaning this rug. Um, airlock system, which means when it goes forward, it actually picks up the larger debris, and then when it comes back, it seals itself to the floor and picks up the finer dust. Um, and that is again something different to the uh, previous uh, GTEC Airram, um, that the first version that came out. Um, what else have we got to say about it? Well, just to show you, you can see how easy it is to twist around. So, um, I don't know about you, but uh, I think 40 minutes is, uh, is enough to get around a, a few rooms. Um, whether you agree it will do your whole home, that's hard to say, because obviously everybody's home is uh, various in size. Um, we've also got the handle for storage. So this, the button there, so when you store it, 
it's a lot more compact. So if you put like me, you put it in a cupboard where you've got coats and stuff, it doesn't get in the way, so it keeps itself very, very small and compact. You can press it there when you want to use it, put it back in place. Um, and I must admit, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. I like it. And, I mean, I'm a fan of air arms anyway. I just like the fact that it's, it's a plug and go and I can go anywhere I want with it. And uh, it's, uh, it's just so easy to use. Um, the price, well, this is 199 You can buy that exclusively off GTEx website. I will put a link um, on the bottom of this video and also put a link um, on my website. I'll put, some, I'll put some of the specs on there as well. Um, and I think it's great. Um, they say this is the GTEC Air Arm K9, which is a little more robust for those of you who've got, who've got um, pets, um, picks up all those hairs I've already mentioned. Um, and I think it's great. If you want to find out more, um, obviously yeah, I'll be writing a full review, so just go out down onto the queenofeasygreen.co.uk where there'll be the full specs and then this review and a few more pictures. I might even put a picture of Ralph on there as well, so you know who's the culprit for leaving all the, uh, the hairs on here. Thanks for watching. If you've any comments, I'm sure you'll put them at the bottom. Uh, if you've got any queries, I'll do my best to answer them. Just again, either hop over to the website or just pop them on the, uh, on the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon.